This video introduces the AudioWeaver MATLAB API. This is a feature that's available in the AudioWeaver Designer Pro version, and it also requires a MATLAB license. This video demonstrates the basic capabilities of getting and setting parameter values, and really only scratches the surface of what the MATLAB API is able to do. Typical interaction you're gonna use is from the MATLAB command prompt, you're gonna use get gsys to get the system object from designer, then you're gonna make variable changes, so that's gsys.sys, and then finally when you're done, you're gonna send the design back to AudioWeaver Designer. Let me go ahead and demonstrate this for you. Now I'm gonna to switch to Designer, and I have a simple system open. And I'm gonna to go to the MATLAB command prompt, and I'm gonna type the command get gsys, and I'm gonna put in the name of the system that's open in Designer. This is gonna get a large structure from designer, which is the entire state of the designer GUI. This also has a subfield called sys. And sys is essentially the system object. And you'll see now that there's individual fields which correspond to the modules in the system. Let's look more closely at scalar 1. So you'll see that scalar 1 currently has a gain of minus 3 dB. You can verify that right here on the GUI. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the gain to minus 12. So this change is made locally in the MATLAB structure. And when I'm done is I send gsys back to designer, give it the name of the system. And then when I switch back and I redraw, you'll see that the gain is now minus 12 dB. What's nice about the MATLAB API is it works not only in design mode, but also in tuning mode. Let's go ahead and build this system. So audio is being processed here in real time. I'll switch back to MATLAB. Let's get our system object. Let's look at scalar one. And let's change it from minus 12 back to minus three dB. And now the audio is much louder. That happens all in real time. Let me turn it back down. Let's look at some of the other modules. Let's look at meter one. So meter one has a value and you can see that it's two elements. These correspond to the instantaneous values from the meter and the meter is two channels. So you'll see separate values for the left and right channel. And now I can start doing math inside of MATLAB for example, converting it to dB. And these values are read back from the target anytime I access the meter one dot value. I can also look at the sync module and he's got an internal array value. And so value is 48 by two. So that's one millisecond of audio data. And now I'll get an array back and I could do things like plot this data inside of MATLAB. And so that data is read from the target, plotted, and now I can manipulate it. 